Recurring donors are important to many nonprofits. Nonprofit success packs enhanced recurring donations lets us manage those sustaining donations quickly and efficiently. It also integrates with Elevate, a paid online donation platform in the Salesforce nonprofit cloud. Since we installed our instance of NPSP after March 2021, we already have enhanced recurring donations enabled. Otherwise, NPSP documentation can help us see which version we are currently using and understand migrating from the older feature, legacy recurring donations. Let's see enhanced recurring donations in action. There are two types of recurring donations, open-ended and fixed lengths. A fixed length donation has an unspecified number of installments, whereas an open-ended donation does not. It keeps going until we stop it. Each recurring donation relates to a contact or account and includes an installment amount. From there, what we enter depends on the type of recurring gift. The interface will change dynamically, so we enter the appropriate information. We can customize the schedule beyond monthly donations by setting recurring schedule to advanced. But let's enter a monthly donation for this example. This choice requires a day of the month. We can also record the date the recurring gift was established and any effective date. This is the date of the most recent change in schedule or amount. Finally, we can add a payment method or primary campaign source that will apply to all future installments. Our admin can add other fields we need as well. Click Save. Now, we can see the overall schedule and upcoming installments easily with components on the right. And NPSP automatically generates the record for the next installment. A single opportunity with an open stage of pledged and a close date based on the schedule we've set. We manage installments like any other opportunity, closing them with the one stage when the expected payment arrives. When we close one installment, a new one is generated if the schedule says there are more to come. If we change the recurring details, existing unpaid installments are updated automatically. This automation saves us tons of effort managing our data. Enhanced recurring donations can also be set to create allocations as well. Here are some of the ways the automations can help us manage recurring donations. Jasmine Holst has asked to increase her quarterly donation from $50 to $100, but she doesn't want to start giving $100 until next quarter. So we change the amount to $100 now, and we set the effective date for the new amount two months in the future. That's after this quarter's $50 installment, but before the $100 is expected next quarter. After we save, we see that this quarter's upcoming opportunity is still $50, while all future installments are $100. Sam Addy has sent in an extra donation this month, and we can easily add an extra one-time installment opportunity without interrupting future installments. When we are entering Sam's one-time donation, we simply relate it to our recurring donation. The next installment is still open. Juan Brady has requested a pause on his recurring donations while he sails to Australia. His enhanced recurring donation has a pause button that puts the process on hold for up to 12 months. Enhanced recurring donations will allow us to act quickly to meet the needs of our loyal champions. Check out NPSP documentation for more details and best practices. Thanks for watching.